Good morning. Time for the gym. Today I have another breast reduction appointment. So stay tuned. I'm gonna take you on my day. Friday, January 22nd, 2021. Five months post-op. shorties it's your girl ice nation and i'm back at it again with the black at it again and you already know that at it again because it's february black history month black history month black history month black history month hey hey get your get your black on get your get your get your black on so i wanted to do this video because I've been getting a lot of requests for an update. So I am officially five months post-op. So it's been five months since my breast reduction. Yes, honey, I'm still reduced. <laughs> and um, it's just been amazing. So this is going to be like a quick brief update. Um, and I'm just kind of taking you on my journey of like my most recent appointment at my surgeon's office and she gets to tell me some good details about how I'm doing and stuff. So without further ado, on my way to Dr. Lennox Fire's office, workout done. like even people overseas found my video on youtube and contacting me overseas overseas yeah. like in yeah. brazil and guyana so maybe yeah yeah you want me to take the shirt all the way off yeah, yeah. and she did a video uh -huh. and YouTube. she put it on youtube and everybody sees the work that you did oh yeah well that's nice it's also nice that you let people know yeah yeah and a lot of people. Oh God! <laughs> I'm coming from the gym. That's why. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh Lord. Oh, what's this here that you? Have? You want me to take it off? No, it's fine. Okay. All right. Yeah. Looks great. Okay. You feel great. Yeah. Look, you can even hardly see your scars. Yeah. Um, I've been chafing a lot this week. Yeah. The skin moisturize. Yeah. I don't know if it's because I um wipe down with alcohol almost every night. Maybe. Don't do that. Don't do it. Mm -mm. It's drying my skin out. Yeah. 
Okay, so I've been using Bacitration to get the moisture back. Yeah. And um, I And been... you don't need Bacitration, you can just use, um, because Bacitration is an antibiotic ointment. You don't yeah. need antibiotic, just regular moisturizer. Okay. And, and, um, and I've been using the Mederma very consistently for the last two weeks. Oh, maybe that's why you're healing great. Yeah? Yeah. So it's good. Yes. I have right here, it feels like a lump. Oh. Yeah, that's that's like um, part of your scar. It's gonna go away. It is yeah. okay. Cause I'm like, why is only here this lump? It's yeah. not on this side. It's just the scar. Okay, and then this part of the scar pokes out a little bit. Yeah. Then the other side. Let me see. Usually goes away by by a year. By a year? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So am I doing good for the year? I mean, we're at like, we're at five and a half months now. Half, yeah. Six, yeah. You're doing great. Okay. Thanks. All right. So no more numbness? Oh, yeah. Still feeling numbness. Like, I, a lot Down of... On the skin? Yeah. yeah that's a lot of like, like right here, I can't feel it. I can't feel here. And under here, I uh -huh. can't feel it. That happens. Nerve damage. That nerve damage but you know we go under the skin and that's where the nerves are the nerves are going towards the Got skin it. so so do you think that i will be able to breastfeed about 50 50. <laughs> about 50 50. yeah okay i'm not thinking about having kids uh, right now i was but... gonna ask no, <laughs> no. do you have any immediate plans no, no i'm no. sitting there right now so now i um was working out I was doing kickboxing like two weeks ago uh -huh. and like high power, high power. And my nipples got so hard, like it was painful. <laughs> like it, I felt like I was in Antarctica, you know, when you're really cold and your nipples yeah. get hard, it felt like that. But I was just like in my, in my house sweating. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, what is wrong? So I like, when I finished working out, I just sat in front of the heater like this. <laughs> Because <laughs> it was so, I was like, I don't know what is going because, on. You know, some patients with the, with the size that you had, mm -hmm. um, sometimes lose sensation in their in their nipples, and you didn't, which is great. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell me what my actual size is? So you have to get measured. So the number is around your chest. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, that usually doesn't change unless you lose weight. Okay. So whatever the number was, mm -hmm. that's the number. Okay. And the cup size, um, I would say it's somewhere around a D cup. Okay. But that depends. Because I've been getting things that are like size medium, like sports bras and stuff, and it's like C cup. So sports bra, they tend to minimize things, uh -huh. and they don't. It, it you really can't go by the sports bra. Size. Okay. But to me, it looks approximately as a, a D cup. Okay. But it depends on where you go shopping for bras. Okay. So, you know, it could be a C in one brand, a D in another brand. Okay. Because, like, look at how small they look here in the shirt. But outside of the shirt, they look a little bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Because the bras. Yeah. Okay. Anything oh, that yeah. I can do to keep the lift intact? Wear bras. I, I always wear bras. I don't yeah. sleep without it. Yeah. Okay, that's bras. it? That's it. No kind of exercise. Everything else is just gravity. Okay. When's the next but time? But no, you? there's no exercise that can lift your breast. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay. Um, when's the next time you want to see me? One year after surgery. So September. So you want to see me in, no, August 19th. August. Okay. Nice. I'm wearing like a whole new wardrobe. I, I yes, have been yes. buying a lot of clothes. You've been buying a lot of clothes. Yes, been buying a lot of clothes. Now, um, I'm use I'm trying out Skims. Kim Kardashian has a, mm -hmm. a bra shapewear line, so I'm trying out there. And I bought like a bandeau and a really tiny, tiny little like scoop neck bralette, and it fits perfect. Like, That's I good. look like little boobies, little boobies. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I'm so happy. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy that you did this for me. You're amazing. <laughs> I tell everybody. I think um, one of my uh, close friends has an appointment with you. Maybe today, actually. Because okay. when I spoke to her, it was like two weeks ago. And she. And just that quick, we're done. Yeah, literally, these appointments are like 10 minutes long. And we're going home. Right, Mom?
Yeah, we going home now. She better get me over that cave and I look a mess. That's how it's good out here. August. So yeah, I feel good. <laughs> like I feel great. Like people are still asking me, like, how does it feel? I'm like, I'm still shell shocked that I laid on the table and got a surgery, that I got my boobs done. Like this is such a life changing experience for me, and you know, I feel so much more healthy. I'm in the gym, I'm doing kickboxing, I can actually run, I can actually jump. These are all things that are extremely new for me because I literally could not run. So being able to run is just like, wow, look at you, beast. <laughs> and um, I got clearance to start training for the Spartan race. So soon I will be starting my CrossFit training. Like, why do I want to do this? Why am I putting myself through this? What I can tell you, which is one detail that they didn't tell me prior to me getting my surgery was that I would suffer potentially from nerve damage. Now, I don't want this to like be a scary moment for you, especially if you're watching this and you're still on the fence about getting a breast reduction. Child, get your breast reduction. It's the best decision I ever made in my life. But I do have what my surgeon thinks could be nerve damage, but it might be just for right now. We're not too sure. But basically, on this side of my breast, I really can't feel anything. Just on this side, I have sensation in my nipples, ow, and um, on this side, I pretty much can feel it. Um, underneath, sometimes, like where the downward incision is, sometimes I can feel it, sometimes I can't, sometimes it's like itchy and I can't even feel like me scratching it. Um, but that's just typical nerve damage because my boobs were so huge literally 34h so there's bound to be some kind of nerve damage what i've been doing as like preventative care um i've been massaging like after i get out the shower i take some shea butter well actually the shea butter that i'm using i don't have it right next to me but the shea butter i will drop a link the shea butter that i'm using is by a friend of mine slash my model slash like my little sis Soko, she has her own skincare line called Sokoology. She's selling on Etsy and she makes this amazing body butter that is supposed to be good for healing. And so I've been using that to like massage my breast and that actually helps with like the feeling of nerve damage. Um, another thing is that I didn't know how long these scars would last. Now, according to my surgeon, I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> like, my scars are healing really, really beautifully. That's what she says. I've been using Mederma. This is my second Mederma. The first one that I have bought was this one. And um, it's so tiny. This little bottle is $24. And I think I spent maybe $28 for this larger bottle on Amazon. I'll leave a link below but this is what i've been using and i've been using it more consistently as of recent so i think that i am seeing some results the scars are getting lighter now the thing with moderma this is another thing that they don't tell you about i don't know if it's me but when i'm using the moderma like i put it on like my scars right but like if, i feel like if you put too much or if you rub it too much it starts to peel you know how like back in the day we well not me because i'm i'm real ocd but y'all used to <laughs> put glue in your hands and then rub it together and peel it off i don't like shit like that so i wasn't doing that but y'all get what i'm saying the moderma kind of does that like it's like it peels so i feel like because i'm so ocd about that like when I showered, now I'm using like a bath salt 
to like really exfoliate and i feel like the bath salt is also helping with the nerve damage with the scar healing and it's just making my whole body feel really soft it's from samboon i got it as a gift for christmas so yeah that's what i've been using um but according to my surgeon my scars are getting really really they're like in really really good shape basically and she said that um usually it takes about a year for you to really start seeing um results with the like scars healing but listen i'm trying to expedite it because no scar formed against me shall prosper and if i wait a year that means i'll be waiting until august and my birthday is june 13th and i want to do something fun like i like i guess a part of like this update is like i've had this like newfound confidence you know that i've gotten the job done i feel like more confident in myself i feel more comfortable wearing different clothing and just you know like i feel more beautiful and um it's interesting though because right after <laughs> my breast reduction like i mentioned i think in the last video um my boyfriend and i broke up and so i spent weeks feeling sad and crappy like basically like post relationship depression and um feeling like i was ugly and that my body was whack and i was just feeling really really down on myself like i was like yo i'm ugly i got this ugly ass fupa um you know like when i'm not wearing makeup my dark circles are maybe too much like you know when you're going through like a breakup and stuff like that it makes you kind of feel like it's your fault it makes you feel like you know like make you feel bad make you feel it makes you look at yourself a different way you know little insecurities and self-esteem kind of like gets in there and just feels like ugh, you know so it's amazing that now you know i am able to actually feel good about myself and i'm a woman so we go through our cycles and here and there i still be feeling like <sighs> like dating is impossible like i don't want to date nobody everybody's mad freaking lame no lie everybody is so lame my ex was not lame and <laughs> i just like over this like i'm so over it so i'm just like whatever and you know all of those things mixed into one can kind of make you sometimes feel like uh is it me am i not this enough am i not that enough or whatever but one thing about getting the breast reduction like health wise me being able to be active really became like such a huge confidence booster for me because like i couldn't do stuff before and now i feel like i can i can wear different things i can do different things i can wear things without a bra like there's just some confidence there you know there's some there's some newfound confidence brewing right and so since my birthday's coming up i really want to do something fun like i want to go to like arizona or vegas and like ride on atvs in the dirt with like a crop top with like my booby meat hanging out like i want to do the most <laughs> like i am in the gym i'm kickboxing i'm about to start crossfit training because this fupa gotta go i'm trying to be funny <laughs> so the fupa gotta go okay but yeah like that's pretty much the update <laughs> like i feel good i feel healthy i feel active my scars are healing i have some nerve damage but the boobs look great i'm happy it's literally the best decision that i've ever made in my life and i encourage whoever is thinking about getting a breast reduction go for it don't be scared there's nothing to fear god got you you go on wake up from the table you're gonna feel amazing i am so grateful to so many of the women who have reached out to me on instagram youtube tiktok 
you name it, Facebook, everybody reaching out to me um, in regards to my breast reduction, asking me questions, people from different countries. I have to use iPhone Translate to literally communicate with some people. Thank you. I am so honored and I just feel like my calling is to inspire people and me being able to help women with this thing that we don't really know too much about and it's scary and the opinions of so many different people i am glad that i can help even if it's just to watch my video to see what i did to see my my progress to see whatever i'm glad that i can help in your journey so thanks i will see you in the next video which will be a series of clothing hauls because i got new boobs so i got new clothes okay i actually just got the sports bra i bought it from amazon i'll leave the link below it's kind of cute i feel like it could give me a little bit more support it's medium support but i'll link it below love y'all deuces